Uh, I'm Tobias from Italia. I'm um, to show um, to get uh, different examples of augmented reality, how it can be a natural user interface. One of the examples is that you could do like interior design by moving very intuitively uh, virtual furniture in your living room. So there's an extra chair. Yeah, exactly. This one, and you can move it with just one finger, which for a wheelchair would be more challenging. And you can do more stuff, like for example, having a marketing campaign where you show a new TV outside your living room, or even like select different sizes nice. you want to have. And of course, so always. So you can move, tell it around. Everything is in real time. Yeah, that's the idea that it stays where it should be, so that you cannot tell the difference from a virtual or a real object. So, what kind of hardware acceleration do you take? Mm. Do you use to do this? Mm -hmm. Uh, like we work together with Texas Instruments to um, adapt the algorithms and optimize it for their chipsets, especially the imaging pipeline to have it more uh, performance optimized so that the battery also can last longer. So is it ISP, DSP, somewhere? Let's call that. Yeah, close to that, yeah. Right. So it's fully optimized or you can still speed things up? Like it's a continuous process and I'm yeah. sure like next year <laughs> we even have more, more interesting stuff to show. Yeah, sure.